All right. Good afternoon and welcome to the continuation of differentiation. Um, today we'll be talking about a function of a linear function. It must be linear. Linear in the sense that it, the, the variable will not have raised to power 2. It will just be raised to power 1. Okay? If you have, let me show you what I mean. An example to that is that if I have the integration of uh, maybe uh, maybe 5x minus 4 all raised to power uh, 6, for instance. Okay? The x. I will show you both the shortcut and the normal uh, method. Okay, the next, uh, what do we do? We are going to say, let the normal method we did in that differentiation, let u be equal to what? 5x min minus 4. Okay, so therefore I'm going to have du dx, du dx, I'm differentiating, is equal to what? Just 5. Okay, now therefore, um, therefore I'm looking for what now? The integral of what u raised to power six. Okay, um, that is that. Now u raised to power six, but it's going to be du. U raised to power six du. Okay, because I'm no longer talking about x. I'm talking about this. Now let's get what du will give us. Du is equal to five. In fact, sorry, this the x. The x is equal to what? Let me not make a mistake. Okay. I said I let you be this, and I've gotten that this, which means that the x is, you're going to get what the x is. The x, you be, they will change position. This will come here, this will come down. It's equal to du over what? 5. Then substitute it here. You are now looking for the integral of what? u raised to power 6. Instead of writing the x now, you will now write what? du over 5, which is what? Uh, bring in the 1 over 5 outside because in, in integration we bring in the constant outside. I'm going to bring 1 over 5 outside. I'm now having only the integral of u raised to power 6 du, which is what? 1 over 5 u raised to power what? 6 plus 1 all over 6 plus 1 plus a constant. So what do we have now? Uh, 1 over 5 the integral of what? u raised to power 7 over 7 plus a constant. So what do we have now? We now have um, that the answer is what? Uh, u raised to power 7 all over 35 plus a constant. Okay? And now what is our u? Our u is simply 5x minus 4 all raised to power 7 all over 35 plus a constant. Okay? So that is that. But this is a long method. The shortcut to that is that I have the integral of 5x minus 4 all raised to power 6 dx okay is equal to whenever you have a it must be a linear you have a linear here raised to power something what do you do differentiate the inside you know in 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 in, in differentiation we do what differentiate the bracket differentiate everything but in integration what do we do differentiate the bracket use it and divide the integral of everything differentiate the bracket use it and divide the integral of everything Differentiate the bracket, I'm having 5. If I differentiate this thing, I'm having 5. I will use it to divide, I'm putting it at the denominator, to divide the integral of everything. Integral of everything is what? Integral of something raised to power 6. It will be what? Uh, that thing, all raised to power what? 6 plus 1. And another 6 plus 1, plus a constant. That is how to uh, integrate. Add 1 to the power and divide by the power. Is it not? This 5 is because of what I did here. So what do I have now? Uh, 5x minus 4. All raised to power what? 7. All over 5 bracket 7. Plus a constant. Which is what? 5x minus 4. All raised to power 7. All over 35. Plus a constant. So that is that. We differentiate. We differentiate the bracket. Then use it to divide the integral of everything. We differentiate the bracket and then use it to divide the integral of everything. Look at another one now. Look at another one. I have a... Okay, I have uh, the integral of e raised to power 4x dx, okay? Now, normally, what do we do? In differentiation, what do we do? Differentiate the bracket. Then we use that multiply the differentiation of everything. But in integration, differentiate the bracket, use it and divide the integral of everything. So if I differentiate 4x, I'm having 4. I'll put it at the denominator. Integration of e raised power something is e raised power that thing, it doesn't change. 
plus the constant. See, it's very, very simple. It's very, very simple. So what do we have now? Uh, which other one? Okay, look at this one now. I have the integral of what? Cos 2x plus 5. If you look at this, it's a linear. Please, this is a linear. It must be a linear, please. It's a linear. So what do we do? Differentiate the bracket. Use it and divide the integral of everything. Differentiating this thing, I'm having 2. I'll keep it at the denominator. Now, integral of cos something is what? Uh, cos that is sign that thing. Sign that thing. 2x plus 5. Then plus a constant. As simple as that. So the next one we are going to do. Uh, which other one? Okay, we have the integral of e raised to power. e raised to power 5x plus 4 dx. Please, look at it. It's a linear. Since it's a linear, differentiate this place. I have what? 5. Keep it at the denominator. Then, integration of e raised to power something is e raised to power that thing. It doesn't change. Uh, 4. Then, you must always add plus a constant. So, the next one we're going to do, I hope you are following. It must be a linear, please. It must be a linear. If it's not a linear, we look for other measures. So, the next one is now the integration of sec squared sec squared 2x minus 5 for instance the x this is a linear so what do, what do we do differentiate this thing you have what 2 keep it at the denominator now integral of sec squared something is what tan tan that thing 2x minus 5 because the differentiation of tan is sec squared so that's why the integration of sec squared is tan so plus a constant so that is that okay so, um, which other one? If I have um, the integral of 3 raised to power 5x dx. No, normally it's supposed to be the integral of what? x. But it's 5x and 5x is a linear. So, say differentiate the 5x, you are having 5. Keep it at the denominator. Then, integral of 3 raised to power, a constant raised to power variable, is repeated. 3 raised to power, that 5x. You will not like laying that thing because if it's differentiation, but since it's integration, you bring it down, laying that constant 3. So, as simple as that, plus a constant. So, that is that. Um, have I not? Okay. So, that is that for this. In our next video, we will now talk about special integration. Thank you very much.